Oh my goodness, you guys. Happy Friday. It's Friday the... Oh my gosh, what's today's date? The 15th? Um, so, and now I just turned the camera on and literally the battery's flashing. Uno momento. Okay, new battery is in so I can talk to you guys. I apologize in advance. This first couple minutes... I don't know, of the vlog is going to be very, very chatty because I have so much to fill you guys in with. Our last vlog basically ended with us having our meal, lunch, early dinner from Wawa on Wednesday after we came back from our blue tape walk. And we told you guys that the blue tape walk went really well and fingers crossed the final walk will be the 20th which is next Wednesday and from what it sounds like it's going to be well from what they told us on Wednesday it was they were pretty confident that they could get everything done and still have the walk on Wednesday what we weren't expecting which I told you on Wednesday that we weren't expecting to hear that we would potentially fingers crossed have our closing basically right after the final walk which just really shocked us because all along this entire process they told us that closing with would be within seven days of your final walk and we didn't think it was going to be on the actual day of the final walk anyways i just wanted to finally sit down it's been sort of a long day i've been trying to really get everything done in here because so much has happened since yesterday and now today and I've just sort of been like going a little crazy. Uh, so many good news. So many good things to tell you. We got the call from our lender yesterday stating that they had received everything that they needed on their end and the underwriter was good with everything and that Friday or Monday at the latest, meaning today or this coming Monday, we would hear from the builder that we are clear to close and we got that call this morning. So excited. I know I don't seem it but I'm just really exhausted and I'm really needing to make some dinner, put an ice pack on and take some more medicine because I've probably, well, I know I've overdone it today. Um, I've been trying to just get the last little bits of stuff done in here, which I'll show you guys later, because we are clear to close, and that means 100% we're closing on our house on Wednesday. <sighs> we are closing on our house on Wednesday, which is going to be the 20th of October, much, much later than what we all anticipated that the sun is like now cr doing crazy things. Hold on one second. That's better. Um, I, what was I even say? Oh yeah. So obviously we were anticipating to be in the house by now. And when everything first started, we were told July. And now it's end of October, which is basically, you know, two full months after what they were promising us back in April. Anyways, on to just being happy and excited that our house is finished well in the process of being finished and we are going to close on Wednesday and that's why things are a little crazy because I didn't expect and Brad didn't expect all this to happen so fast we really thought that we would have like another week after the walk and even though we scheduled the walk it wasn't like a definite yes it, it just depended on if their team could get everything scheduled and stuff with the contractors so it is and it's happening and we're gonna have the keys to our house on Wednesday afternoon which I'm just so grateful and so beyond like thankful for everything that even though it's been a really tough process um, especially the last couple months and it's just been a lot of highs and lows which any build or any process of buying a house probably is and I understand that it's just been a little bit more hectic because of 
the false promises and the lies and things like that. So again, we're still very grateful and excited that this is finally coming true. The tricky part, and this is why it's getting a little long to talk to you. Uh, the tricky part is trying to figure out when to move everything and when to have Brad's family come to help us. So because of my back and everything, that is the tricky part. We're planning to, well, we did rent a U-Haul for Wednesday, not Wednesday, for Friday the 23rd, which is next Saturday. So we are planning to move um, as many of the boxes and odds and end things that we have in the garage that have been out there for a long time. And then we're going to try to get as many other boxes that are still here in the inside part of the house, which is not very much because most of them are already out there. We're going to try to get that all moved. Brad's going to rent a dolly. I can only lift five pounds and I can only do that for so long. So I'm pretty much not going to be much helped whatsoever, which I just feel so horrible about. Brad understands and he's completely fine with it. It's just when you're in this position of not being able to do what you are used to and what you want to do, it's just um, it's frustrating because I want to be able to help, you know? And especially since this is like our very first house, I just want to, I mean, I'm still going to be a part of the process. It's just, I want to help and I can't as much as I used to obviously. So that's the exciting news. I, I just, I'm still in shock and yeah, I don't want to keep rambling. So I think I'm going to take a break, get some dinner and I'll then fill you guys in with what's going on in here. And I'll also share some more good news, which is just so ironic because good news after good news just kept on happening on Wednesday so finally sat down I actually unloaded the dishwasher first now I'm having soup I figured it was the easiest thing for me to eat and I'm gonna sit oh my gosh my hair is a hot mess I'm just gonna sit here and eat this and put the ice pack on it's behind me right now relax and watch an episode of um, Chesapeake Shores so I started watching this years ago when it came out, then stopped watching it. So I'm starting it all over again. I'm on season two, episode like four or something. I don't know. So that's what I do, eat this soup. Just letting it cool down for a second because I put it in for a little too long. But that's all right. Uh, yeah, then I'll fill you guys in with that good other good news and sort of show you the progress in the craft room. I still am just in shock that I said those words that were clear to close and we're going to close on Wednesday. Like I have been dreaming of that day to finally say those words and the same thing for Brad and it's just like still sort of um, a dream <laughs> and yeah, just excited. Time for soup, time for Chesapeake Shores, and I will talk to you guys in a few. It is several hours later. Oh, I ended up sitting down for a lot longer. I can tell I overdid it this morning and early afternoon, but I am so proud to finally say that this craft room is basically done. And what I mean by basically is a little bit of stuff that's not boxed up we're just going to take as is and i'll show you guys in just a second i'm so proud of myself for getting this done especially finding out today somewhat wednesday that we're moving much faster we'll still have till november 26 i think it is until we move out of this place but like it will give us plenty of time to get things done it's just trying to square things up with his family, which I'm not sure if I talked about at all, but let me show you guys the room first and how much it's changed since, 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 oh, this medicine, since um, we moved in. So I know I never fully really decorated in here, but just wanted to show, show you sort of the aftermath of me boxing everything up. So here we go. So everything's basically cleared off the shelves. 
as I've said before, anything in the black bins or in like the silver tubs are just going to go in the car as is. I can take those basically in one trip. A couple more boxes for Brad to carry out to the garage. Like that's my paint. These are just random things. And then all the reusable shopping bags, like I said, I was going to use. Some of this stuff on top here, I should have probably put in a box, but it fit on top of that big Disney store shopping bag, so I was like, whatever, <laughs> no big deal. Uh, these boxes Brad will have to carry out for me, but then basically all of these bags can just go into one of our vehicles. Same thing with everything on that shelf, and some, same thing every, on that shelf. And then the only other boxes down below are these. Again, they just house a bunch of craft stuff, so I'm not going to put them in boxes. I'm just going to leave them as is. So everything's cleared out over here, down here, and everything over here is cleaned out. So this is the only things that were basically left duct tape, which obviously I need to use for the last bits of boxes that we have to do. And then the computer stuff, some of that stuff I'm just keeping out until we move. So I'll just take that like whenever we officially get out of here kind of thing. So yeah, I feel pretty good to say thumbs up. It's finally done. This was the last room that I had to really pack. Like everything else in the house is pretty much done except for like the kitchen, which is pretty obvious because we still need the stuff in there. I probably s will start probably packing up a little bit more, maybe Saturday or Sunday, meaning tomorrow or Sunday. Just stuff that I think we can get away with not having for a little bit. But the reason why I'm sort of hesitant is because, and again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, if I, if I did, I'll just cut this part out and continue on. But, Brad's family is trying to come down and help us move. So part of the tricky thing trying to figure out when to tell his parents or when to ask his parents, I should say, to come down and help, they, they've already offered. So it's not like we're telling them to come. This has been discussed since back when we signed a contract in December. Anyways, um, the tricky part is trying to figure out the timing because there's just a lot of stuff going on at Brad's work right now that sort of wasn't expected and it's just going to be really tricky to figure out when we can move. I have a feeling we're going to end up moving like the end of the month. So Brad has off next weekend and I have a feeling that's going to be the only time that he's going to be able to move because we were thinking that we wouldn't sign until the beginning of November and we were planning on taking like the second week off, well, he was planning on taking the second week off of um, November to move. But now one of his other managers is going out for surgery and that person's going to be out for a couple weeks. So uh, it's just so tricky because obviously the holidays are coming up and uh, it's just a big cluster of a mess right now. I know it will all work out. I know we have plenty of time to move and get unpacked without having to feel rushed to get out of this house because we have the lease until the end of November. So if you could just say a little prayer, send us some good thoughts, pixie dust our way because we just need to get this all figured out. Hopefully we'll have some better answers on Monday um, when a few more people come back to work the head off this weekend. So, we're still running a U-Haul. We, we scheduled that already. We scheduled the U-Haul for Saturday the 23rd. So Brad is going to use a dolly basically and take as many boxes as we can into the U-Haul, load it up, and then unload it at the house. Then we're possibly going to try to fit a few pieces of like small furniture, like accent tables and things like that, into the U-Haul as well or maybe just make a second trip back to the house. So there really won't be like a ton of stuff. I just feel bad because it's going to be Brad doing everything basically because I can't lift more than five pounds and I have restrictions from my doctor as far as um, everything else goes with my back. So moving is definitely not 
recommended whatsoever. I can help unpack things and that's why I've been like working so hard the last couple months to get so much done ahead of time because I wanted to at least try to feel like I helped, you know? Um, yeah. So, there's that. Tomorrow I think I'm going to try to run to Salvation Army and drop off the stuff that Brad loaded in my car. That's all good to go. So I think I'm just going to call it a night for now because I'm really, really feeling it right now. Even though I took medicine a little bit ago, um, I'm just super sore. So I'm going to go take a shower, relax. It's been a good day. It's been a good week. And it's going to get even better next week. Good morning, guys. Um, it's Saturday. The day before um, Brad's birthday. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to think of the date again. And I'm like, oh, wait. Tomorrow's Brad's birthday. So today's the 16th. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. And I know it's because I overdid everything yesterday. But it felt good to get things done. But the reason why I wanted to start off the morning is because I was sitting, well not sitting, laying in bed last night and I'm like, I don't think I ended the vlog and I don't think I gave you guys the other good news and I ended up falling asleep. Then I thought about it this morning when I was just making my coffee and sure enough I look back on the last clip of the night last night I did not end the vlog and I did not tell you guys the extra good news um that I had told you I would tell you earlier in the vlog so the <laughs> other good news which is like I said it's just sort of um a funny coincidence I guess you could say but it happened on Wednesday after the blue tape walk and after finding out that we would have our final walk on this coming Wednesday the 20th and have the hopefully um, closing as well which obviously we found out that it is confirmed so anyways the other good news is Brad was on line and he was looking at some stuff and he came across um, an article talking about now hiring for um, people for Christmas tree shops, which you guys know a couple of vlogs ago, I posted about going there. Brad and I had a day trip um, last Sunday and we went shopping there because it's my favorite, all time favorite store to shop at. And I was telling you guys how we were so excited to learn that they were bought out recently by a new like venture company and Brad read that they're hiring they're hiring for two different locations. Yes, they're only gonna be pop up shops, but there's gonna be two locations here in the Tampa Bay area. And I just thought it was crazy how we just talked about it. Like hoping and praying that one day down the road that they would eventually have a store. I know that it's only a pop-up shop and I know it's only temporary because it says it's like seasonal positions. I'm just so excited. There's going to be one just down the road from us and down the road from us at the new, well, one of them is going to be down the road from us um, at the new house and like so close, so much closer than an hour and 45 minute drive. Well, I think it was like an hour 47 minutes. I think it's how long it took us without traffic to get to the one in um, East Orlando. And so <laughs> I'm just ecstatic, ecstatic, ecstatic. And I can't believe I'm talking to you guys about this. It's going to probably be ended up being five minutes talking to you guys about this, but I'm just like beyond thrilled, beyond excited that they're bringing more stores. And I know 1000% that at least one of the stores will end up going permanent to a some lo some location close by. So that's my other good news. <laughs> I know it seems cheesy, but it's not cheesy to me because if you know, you know, which I know some of you know. 
and now I'm just rambling for a really long time. So I'm going to end the vlog. Thanks so much for listening um, to this very, very chatty house update, moving update, and just some other fun, exciting news. And I just appreciate you guys coming along with us with this journey. It's just meant so much to be able to share with you guys. I'm so thankful to be sharing with y'all. And it's just been such a blessing and such a nice distraction with everything going on, you know, with my back and my health and infertility and all this and that. It's just been so nice to pick up the camera these last couple months and share this process with you. And I'm even more excited to get into the house and decorate and share that part of our new home with you. I think that's like my top thing that I'm looking forward to. I'm um, just sharing like holiday decor and just, you know, everyday decor, that kind of thing, how I organize. And yeah, now I'm just rambling for a really long time. I need to drink the rest of this coffee, set you guys down and call it a day for the vlog. And I'll see you guys at, well, Brad and I will see you guys at our closing on October 20th. 2021 on Wednesday this coming week. So until next time, thanks so much for watching guys.